explain to you what this examination is. I'm going to be testing your cranial nerves. I'm going to be looking at your eyes, your ears, uh, your mouth, your facial asymmetry, and I'm gonna have to come close. I'm gonna have to touch you. Do I have your consent for that? Okay, perfect. So at first sight, I do not see any obvious asymmetry, pupils, no ptosis. Your speech sounds normal to you. I see no hearing aid, no visual aid. You didn't come in with a limp or there's no, if you look at your arms and legs, there's no immediate sign of any wastage. There's no tremors. Okay, before we begin, do you have any pain? Any prescriptions? Anything you have to tell me? Okay, perfect. Okay, let me put this down. Alright, so the first thing we're going to test is your olfactory nerve. <laughs> olfactory nerve. That is your nose, your sense of smell. I'm going to have you smell various things and all you're gonna do is tell me what you're smelling, okay? So, this is the first scent. I'm going to drop on this little cotton swab. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold it under your nose. Tell me what you smell. Okay, coffee. That is correct. Now, I'm going to do another one that I'm gonna have to waver at you. So, I'm just gonna spray that on the paper. What do you smell? Vanilla. Yes. Correct. Okay. Another dropper. And then, what is it? You smell? What is that smell? Lemon. Yes. Very good. Perfect. And now, the last smell. Don't want to directly spray this on you. Peppermint. Alright. That is very good. Um, so it might not always be obvious, but anosmia, which is a problem with your scent, can actually cause by things like, um, not just a cold, if you had that, I had to know, um, but it can be caused by things like a Parkinson's disease. Yeah. It's very um, interesting. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to be checking your optic nerve. So, first I'm going to have to come close and I'm going to have to see at your optic nerve, like your pupils. They have the same size. Um, they are the right size, round. And they are symmetrical. I don't see any immediate problems. We're now going to for that, I want you to look at the chart behind me with the letters. Okay, and I want you to read the lowest line that you can read and cover in your one eye. Alright, perfect. Now I'm gonna cover your other eye and I want you to do the same thing. Alright, okay, perfect. Very good. I'm going to try the same thing, but I want you to cover this eye and look through here. I want you to look through that. Okay. And the same with your other eye. Look through this. And do the lowest line you can read. Alright. Good. Put it down. Okay, I'm going to have to use a torch now. And you don't have to look at it physically. I'm going to look at your direct pupillary reflex. So I'm going to just look at the eye I'm shining into. Okay. And then I'm going to look at the direct pupillary reflex there. Then I'm going to look at the consensual pupillary reflex. I'm not shining in that eye dot. That eye dot the same. Okay. And then I'm shining in that eye and see that this eye does the same as the other one. Yeah. I'm going to do the swinging light test, just checking your pupils, seeing the reaction of both, and 
that is perfect. That is perfect. Now I'm going to check the constriction and the convergence of your pupil. So I have you stare at that chart in the distance. And then I want you to change where I tell you to look. So look at the chart in the distance. Look at my finger. Okay, look at the chart. Look at my finger. Look at the chart. Look at my finger. Look at the chart. you to look at the pulse of the central nervous system. I want you to stare. Okay, now look at my finger. Okay, back to the chart. Back to my finger. Back to the chart. Back to my finger. Back to the chart. Okay, and now to my finger. Alright, good. That was the accommodation reflex. Now I am going to be taking some Ishihara plates. Okay, this is to test your color blindness. So um, you're gonna have to tell me which number you are seeing. So which number is this? I should point it out. Okay, which number is this? All right. Okay, which number is this? Alright, which number is this? Okay, good. Which number is this? Alright, good. Good, 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 good. Which number is this? Alright, good. Perfect score. Extra, actually, chronic solvent exposure and vitamin A deficiency can actually cause color blindness. Yes. So, some. Um, Vision deficiencies can be congenital and some are acquired. Now I'm going to check for a visual neglect or inattention. Okay, I want you to look at me. Look at my nose, okay? I'm gonna wiggle my fingers in various places and you can tell me when you see a finger wiggle. Very good. Now I want you to do the same thing. I'm going to um, cover one side of your face and I'm going to bring my finger. You're gonna stare at my nose and you're gonna tell me first, do you see any area of my face or the background that is gone that you can't see anymore? Okay, now I'm gonna move my finger from here outwards. Tell me when you can't see it anymore. the oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens nerves. So, let me first uh, expect for ptosis. Gonna just look at your eyes. Anything, just moving that upwards like that. And here, same. Focus on my nose and 
phenomenal nerve. I'm going to touch your face in various portions of places. That just give me your arm. I'm gonna have you feel how it feels. That's how it feels like, okay? Okay, close your eye and uh, say yes when you feel it. Have you recently noticed any change in your sense of smell? In your sense of taste? Okay, yes, that is all connected to the facial nerve. So I'm gonna have to just look at your face up close. Um, I'm going to inspect it for asymmetry, any wasting, uh, forehead wrinkles may be more pronounced on us. Raise your eyebrows as if you're surprised. Okay, now um, close your eyes, don't let me open them. Okay, now blow out your cheeks, don't let me deflate them. Okay, so now can you try a whistle? Okay, good. Now we're going to check the vestibular cochlear nerve, your ears. <laughs> so, have you recently noticed any change in your hearing? three words and three numbers in each ear and you have to repeat back to me what I say to you okay, first in this ear motorway stairwell apple pen 25 69 12 okay, okay. I'm going to test it again. 
other side. Where do you hear it? Equal on both sides. Alright, perfect. Okay, now the vestibular testing. Before we continue, I have to move your head. Have you have any head or neck pain problems? Okay, so focus on my nose at all times. Okay, just gonna move your head. Yes. Okay, good. Now the other side. Sorry, nerve. So put your shoulders up and try to try to raise your shoulders and resist me putting them down. Okay. Now turn yourself, your head left. So while I resist, turn your head right while I resist it. Okay. Good. Now the vagus nerve. I'm going to get my light and I am going to check in your mouth. Have you noticed any issues with? Open your mouth. Let me just see. Say ah. Okay. Cough. Okay. That looks normal. Good. Now we're checking the hypoglossal nerve. Open your mouth. I'm just gonna uh, look at your tongue. Looks normal. No ridges. No abnormalities. Okay. I'm gonna. Can I place a finger in your mouth? side. Pressure down against my finger. Okay, good. Now the other side. Pressure down. Okay. Okay. The examination is now finished. Um, everything looks completely normal. 